Today I want to share with you how I manage my time as a mother of two littles and as a homemaker. Welcome everybody, I'm Davy, and I am a mom of two little girls and I am a stay at home mom and I am a homemaker. I love making our home a welcoming, inviting space, a place where my husband and kids feel at peace and at rest and also a place where we invite people over to um, enjoy company with. And so I want to share with you some tips and ways that I have found throughout my time of homemaking that work for me in managing time. So I was thinking back to when we didn't have kids, how I managed my time and it was not good. I, I don't know what I did with my free time. I was a working wife at the time and I was a teacher, so I had the summers off, but still I felt like I would watch shows in the evening or just like waste time on things that were not worthwhile. So now that I have kids, I have really learned what's important, what to prioritize and how to manage my time. So first thing I have learned is to wake up early. This for me sets my day right. If I don't wake up early enough and my kids wake up when I wake up, I feel really rushed to get breakfast done before my husband goes off to work and I feel like I didn't have my time in God's word and I didn't have my morning coffee by myself or just with my husband. And so just setting that time for yourself in that morning hours is what I really need that helps with my mindset to set me up for good time management. I like to get dressed pretty much right away. I might make breakfast first in my pajamas and then go get dressed. Sometimes it's the other way around, but when I get dressed, when I make my bed, I feel again like I am ready for the day. I like to clean up after every meal if I have the opportunity. So after breakfast, I'll be doing the dishes while my two girls are playing together. Lunchtime, I like to get everything cleaned up right before nap time, get it in the dishwasher, get things washed. And supper time, my husband is home, so he'll be playing with the girls while I do my kitchen cleanup. And for me, I don't feel like that's um, a lack of time with my daughters because I then will prioritize time with my kids. That's another way to help manage your time. To give your undivided attention to your children at least 15 to 30 minutes in little chunks of time during the day. I think I heard somewhere that 10 minutes of undivided attention to your kids is super important for their well-being and their health and so and your relationship really. If you have your phone, put it aside, turn the TV off, turn the music off, just play a game they want to play and give them that undivided attention. And that also I think is what helps me as a homemaker too to get other tasks done. So I can also get tasks done, here's another tip, during the day when the kids are awake that they can help with, like folding laundry, putting dishes in the dishwasher. My toddler is three and she likes to put the spoons in the dishwasher or some of the plates I'll help her put, have her help me put in. She likes to help me fold laundry and dust. So all those things can be done when your children are awake and that helps with getting those tasks done so that you have time to do the things that when they're napping that take a little bit more focus. And so that's another one here. Do the tasks that take more focus and that will take more um, presence in that moment with something like me editing videos. I do that while my girls are napping. Or if I have to film a video, I do that while my girls are napping or quiet time if you have a little bit older kids. And so, I just think that is really important to prioritize what you get done when kids are awake and what you get done when they're sleeping, what they can help with. And I think it's important again to always have those tasks be a teaching moment. Teach them how to fold the, the towels because that's a square. Teach them how to put the spoons in the dishwasher. Um, just how to be a homemaker along with you. Another way to manage time is to plan meals ahead of time. I don't always have a strict meal plan, but I will always make sure I have meat thawed, I have an idea of what we're going to have that night, and I will either prep it during nap time again, or I will get it um, ready 
during the day so that it's not crunch time when five o'clock comes around and the girls are getting hungry my husband's home from work and so it's easier to have that plan ahead that way you're not having to run to your grocery store run and get food you've got all of that planned ahead of time another way i manage my time and that i have learned to limit is my scrolling on social media facebook marketplace that's my downfall um, watching shows and that's something that i did before we had kids my husband and i would sit and watch three or four episodes of a show be up till 11 11 30 at night and then i would have to get up by five to go drive to go teach and so i have learned tv shows are they're, they're a filler, they're enjoyable for a time, but to me, they don't fulfill anything. I would rather sit and discuss something with my husband. I would rather be um, learning something like how to um, garden better, how to mend a shirt better, how to whatever it may be. So also another tip, and this is my last, if it's gonna take 30 seconds or less, just do it. So I will take my Norwex cloth that I clean my windows with. I see fingerprints on it. I'll quickly get it wet, wipe it off, and it is clean. That took 15 seconds. Wipe down your counter real quick in the bathroom while you're brushing your teeth. I mean, there's multiple things that you can multitask in as well, and that takes 30 seconds or less and that helps you just get those little things done so you don't feel like the bathroom is disgusting we have a visitor who all of a sudden just showed up and i have to go do that there's toys all over the ground and taking just that little bit of time to clean something or tidy something carry something to another room always when you're walking around if you need to put it away is also beneficial too so those things are ways that I manage time as a mom and homemaker and I want to make sure my daughters know that homemaking is important, taking care of the home is important, and loving on your family and children is also the most important thing because then we know we are being caretakers of what God has given us. So I hope these were helpful for you in managing time if you're a mom or a homemaker, a grandmother. Um, even if you are a single woman or if you are newly married, it's important to figure out what's important for you and to manage your time well. Love you guys and I will talk with you in the next one.